Oi! Hi, my name is Tech, and this is Bounty Thursdays. Today's episode is sponsored by the fine folks over at Integrity. Thank you so much, gang, for supporting my channel. And if you're not already hacking on their platform, use my link when you and if you haven't watched the video I did together with Inti, I definitely recommend you to do so. The way he breaks down the integrity Easter XXX challenge in an easy to follow step by step manner is just mind blowing. He uses only dev tools for this and yeah, I learned so many cool new things. So definitely do check that one out. Hackathon is also stepping up the game when it comes to educating the community. They have recently started to release some really cool stuff onto their Hacker 101 educational platform. I'm super excited to be a part of that. And this week they have released a video that I recorded together with Tom Nanon back during the H1 4M5 flagship event in February. It's called JavaScript for Hackers and expect to see some more content from content creators like myself in that space. My favorite pen testing tool, Burp Suite, just got updated to version 2020.4. And even though this is more of a usability upgrade, it drops some new really super sweet functionality. Lo and behold, pretty print of JSON, XML, HTML, CSS, and even, yeah, JavaScript. So the day spending watching minimized Java and unformatted JSON is now over. It's implemented both in the community and the Pro Edition, and it's on by default. But if you don't vibe with that, just one click away to disable it. You can even go into the settings and disable it by setting the default settings. Speaking of time savers, Corbin Leo recently released a new update of his Go-based tool Gao, which is short for get all the URLs. And in my humble opinion, that's a great tool to have uh, as a part of your automation pipeline. For instance, if you want to collect all URLs from a target, just pipe wherever domain you got into Gao and it will collect all the known URLs from huge repositories like Alien Walls, Open Threat Exchange, the Wayback Machine, and even, hey, Common Crawl. And if you combine it with the dash subs flag, you will get all the results from all known subdomains. So it might just be a good thing for you to add those extra subdomains to your attack surface. So definitely do give that a go. Ooh, and while we're talking about automation, last week's, or yeah, this Sunday, Nahamsek had Mayonnaise, who is HackOne's latest MBH on his Sunday recall. And man, what a ride. In my humble opinion, it was one of the best interviews so far on the channel especially when it comes to discussion regarding automation. And to be honest, I've actually already watched it twice, and I think you should do that too. So peel your eyes over at youtube.com slash nahamsek and be prepared to check that video out once the VOD um, video drops. And on that show, both John and Ben talked about the importance of keeping historical for the sole purpose of being able to just go back and check upon your findings. Because let's say that you found a juicy new endpoint that leaks some info. Have you seen that one before? Is there others that just like that? Well, that's the time to go back and check your research and see if you're able to find some more bugs. And that's why it's so great news that Corey Arthur and the NCC group recently released a new update to their famous Logger++. The current release is 3.17, and to be really honest, I haven't really had time to test drive it fully yet, but this actually might be the time when I'm leaving Flow behind. Finally, uh, shameless self-promotion. Every Saturday, I join Ben over at twitch.tv slash nahamsek for some drinks, some hacking, and some good times. We normally just hack on some public um, 
uh, CTF web boxes and, uh, and do that together a little bit with a chat. So it's easy for you to tag along. And if you like to hack with friends, then hey, hack with friends. That's all we have to, for today. So until next time, stay curious. Later.